G'day folks, today in this video we're going to see if enabling or disabling the built-in video stabilization of the GoPro Hero 6 affects the footage when mounted in the Feutech G6. Let's take a look. Now before we get started, I thought I would do this test because if you own a smartphone and you own one of the uh, handheld gimbals for it, like the Osmo Mobile, Mobile 2, or any of the new ones that are on the market, you know that when you mount a smartphone such as the iPhone in there, uh, sometimes you get a little bit of a wave uh, jello effect, uh, some rippling, and that's due to the built-in stabilization on the iPhone and it kind of works against the gimbal and it can give you that kind of rolling, waving uh, motion in the video. So I was just really curious to see what kind of video quality difference there would be if you leave the built-in stabilization that's on the GoPro Hero 6 on or if you turn it off, see if there's any kind of changes. So let's get at it and uh, we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison and we'll see what the difference is. So yeah, wow, what a difference. That is actually pretty dramatic. Leaving the stabilization on on your GoPro Hero 6 definitely helps improve and smooth out the video. It's really interesting results compared to when you look at the iPhone and you leave the built-in stabilization on, how it actually makes the footage look worse. So I guess the rule of thumb is leave the built-in stabilization on on the Hero 6 Black. If you have it mounted in a gimbal such as the Feutech G6, you'll end up with smoother footage. Well folks, that's it for this video. I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you felt it had value. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next one.